ship directly from Santa Clara, California. This is the MillerCat Catalytic Converter Protector. And this is what we're dealing with. Um, give me a second. There it is. Um, one of the pieces that is, I think this is the side shroud. Pretty heavy. So this here is the 304 stainless steel, whatever that means. Um, I guess it's just really cut resistant. So if someone wants to steal your catalytic converter underneath your car, well, it, it's, someone wants to steal something, they're gonna steal it, right? So this kind of just helps out in preventing that. It kind of slows them down, so maybe they'll move on to something else. But um, as you can see, it has some imperfections in there. There's like a little circle swirly mark there. Another one there, probably when they picked it up or something using those suction cup dealies, but um, not flawless, but I guess it does the job. As long as it's not rusty or anything. A couple little cosmetic scratches, but then again, it does go underneath, but those who are meticulous about their things, um, you, you kind of know that there's some imperfections and this is kind of normal, but this, as of today's video date, ran $390 plus tax, so it was $418 where I'm at with um, the sales tax and free shipping. Let's take a closer look as it goes underneath the truck. And as always, I'm not sponsored or I wasn't paid by this company. This is just my unboxing and product review. Weighing in at 28 pounds, it's nice and sturdy and a good piece of heavy 304 stainless steel metal. And all it is is theft prevention. You know, if someone really wants something, they're gonna take it in the end, but this is gonna slow them down just a little bit. So you can visit the website in the link in the description down below. Are you ready for this install? And for the Gen 3 Tacoma here, this is the bag of screws and nuts and bolts. Looks like there's a little hex bit in there and some washers. Looks like you'll need a quarter inch bit driver, a 12 millimeter socket, and optional protective eyewear. Oh wait, no, yeah, not optional. Always protect your eyes, kids, boys and girls. Um, gives torque specs too, that's pretty cool. All right, let's dig into this. Hey, and also if you agree with me, if you really don't like instructions, give it a nice like and thumbs up as well because I really don't like instructions. I like to piece things together, but I think this time I'm actually gonna have to read them because things are a little, not complicated, but they're very specific and so you kind of have to follow the directions carefully. And now it's time to dive under the car to remove the cross member. All right, and this is facing forward in the truck. So there's your drive shaft there if you have a four wheel drive. And let's see here. And I believe those are the ones we're gonna have to remove. And if my calculations are correct, oh, we have a winner. It's a 12 millimeter. Oh wait, that's what the direction said. <laughs> And those, you have to use a little force to take those off there. And if it's helpful, there's another two bolts right up there. You probably should loosen as well. Okay, so you're gonna take the cross bar all the way off. So you're gonna also undo those two and repeat the same on the other side. Okay, so if this makes any sense, the shield right here, see those tabs right there? Those go right where the cross members used to be here. So the cat, the cat protector goes there and then the cross member goes on top to hold it in place and it bolts in using the original bolts. Now over here, this front part, this front cross member, 
what we're gonna have to do is that plate that's there, you get these long threaded supplied screws and they go in and bolt in from right up in there. See how it kind of sticks up? So that plate that's included with that, hold it in, three, in place with those three holes. One, two, and three. Now it's helpful if you have somebody else, otherwise you can kind of wrestle with it on your own. <laughs> But in the end, it's all about protecting those guys right up in there from getting stolen. There we go. And last but not least, tighten everything down, of course. Hey, if you liked today's video, give it a nice like and thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below if you're new to my channel, and we'll see you on the next adventure.